Welcome everybody to our latest edition of Highlights. This is still here. And Highlights being our key trading and active investing strategies. So what we want to talk about and discuss on this session is the concept and notion and the use of support and resistance via either pivots, but also how windows may play a role in that as well. So we're going to go through a few charts, we're going to go through a few stocks, just quickly identifying those. And one of the things that happens many times is we have a level of resistance or some um, ceiling that seems to be formed and then a window forms on the move on the breakout of momentum above that as well. That same window at some point or another, whether dependent or independent of that uh, resistance area, uh, may also create another form of support or resistance at some other time as well. So let's go through some of those examples. And one starts off right away. You can see there's a kind of a resistance area right through here. In fact, I can probably drop that down just a little bit, but you get the idea. There's some resistance right across there, and then immediately there's a window that pops right above that as a gap right through there. You see how the kind of momentum and accelerates much higher after that. Now there's a window, of course, that was occurring out in this area here. Right here there's a window. And you see how that is acting somewhat as a support area, at least temporarily, right in here. There's a little bit of distance between there, but you can see the lower shadows essentially uh, coming down into that area and then pushing off where that window may or may not have been as well. And then here's another where, once again, we have a, um, a large window that occurred. You can see right from here to here. There's your window right there. And then as it pulled back, as it came all the way back down this way, it didn't completely fill the window, but essentially what it did was it came right down to that pivot area right there. So the window acted as somewhat of an area where support could have occurred, but more so the pivot within that area coincided with it as well. And then we've got another area across here. Let me get rid of this line here. And another area right across here right through there. That acted as resistance. Eventually a breakout came back as support, came back as support right here right now live on this particular chart is actually holding that level as well. So in this case the pivot area met resistance, eventually broke out, was tested once but then tested again much later in the process. So the window in this case but also a former pivot area forming a support and then same thing here again a change of polarity of sorts doing the same thing at a later stage. Okay, here's another one where, once again, we had a, well, there's a window that was formed right here. And what's more important, I think, with this is, is really what happened over here. That level, the window right here, you can see came up. There was a doji that formed right there. And look at the breakout that occurred following that. It all came up very methodically, very quietly, tapped into that window area, and then absolutely exploded through. Once it did that, you had another area across here, right about there, approximately. And again, look what happened. There was a, a gap over, you know, essentially a rising window right over that area right there. Gapped right over it, came back, found the support, tested it, and then again, another window. That window, once again, not pretty close, not quite exactly, but certainly gapped over that area. In fact, let me... And do this instead. It'd probably be clear if I just do this right here, right off those the, the little tweezer top right there. And one could argue maybe, you know, obviously it still cleared this area as well. But you can see what happened was there was a window that was a resistance area, and there was an explosion through, ran into the next pivot, and then had gapped over it once again. Now, of course, on this kind of very steep parabolic move, in this case it was a pullback to retest, but this area. The window, including the former pivot, became a very, very nice support area, and then it also acted like a trampoline for the next window higher above, again beyond the next pivot area. Again, kind of interesting there. So, fascinating how these things work out, and uh, how they can be used, of course, as well. Okay, here's another one that, uh, you know, when there's a breakout, say, above a resistance area, you want to look for the possibility of a test. So 
there was a little bit of resistance across here but more so right above it again as well right this little pivot area right here you can see right there and then there was a, a test right there of that area came back down and tested that area right there and then bounced aggressively window window now again the window was formed right in here that you had a little bit of support formed right across there again there was another one right across here and it's not clean but look at the green candles note the little doji the opening of the green candle the opening of the green candle this one very closely here came very close to closing right on that window as well this one here very close and this one of course closed above and opened above as well so that was a little bit looser but still it uh, worked out fairly well in fact there's another window right here small window right there and that acted again as another area of support one more time so prior pivot errors as mentioned including windows acting as some uh, reasonable support resistance areas across the way here that can be very useful in your trading and let's go through maybe one more okay well this one one could observe a number of things so I'm just you know obviously there was a support across here whoops let's do this here there was a support across here that was that was obvious uh, the other thing you could be looking at is to some degree there was a trend coming down this way for sure right and then there was a big window that occurred right above so where did that window end up and where's the low of that window if I go across like that you're gonna see it happens to be right where the pivot is so once again the window rose above and beyond a former pivot area this one just catapulted above and beyond three different pivot areas um, one could maybe study this a little further for a possibility of a measured move that occurred based on the original uh, sort of box like to uh, you know descending triangular formation here but nonetheless that's for another session perhaps but again you can see the the gap the window above the uh, pivot area and then use that as your support area and it's still to a degree across here still held as a zone if you will of, uh, re of support beyond that uh, former pivot area there as well and then once again we're getting another area across here right now almost like a box formation is developing so it'll be interesting to see how this one develops here in the near future based on what is developed here uh, in the last several weeks okay well I hope you found this informative and look forward to working with you as we continue down our path to education and as Steve always says may the Nissan candlesticks continue to enlighten your path to greater prosperity